Okay. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so favorite memory from high school when you were at Godwin? Probably New Balance Nationals because we kind of had prepared for the flat 400 and then we changed last minute to do the hurdles. And so it was kind of like spontaneous and we started training for the hurdles and then I won the hurdles. So it was really exciting and I had all my coaches in my corner and everyone was really excited for me. And it was my first time winning nationals. Mentors or idols or coaches, parents, people that come to mind first that have meant the most to you over the years. Um, developmentally on and off the track? Mm -hmm. um, definitely my high school coach, Coach Scott. I still keep in touch with him. And Coach Eddie, I still keep in touch with him as well. And then um, my coach, one from high school too, Coach Fuller, we always talk like, and we just have sometimes a lot of like untrack related conversations. So it's really fun to talk to him and just have a normal conversation. So he's definitely someone good to have in my corner as a mentor. And favorite food? Uh, I would have to say pasta. Okay. I feel like I've always had a pasta and garlic bread kick, but I try to try to, you know, be smart with it now because I could eat pasta every day, but <laughs> I still love it. Any specific kind or just pasta in general? Just pasta. I all like all pasta. pasta and all garlic bread. <laughs> and then I love the, I always think about when, when I see your accomplishments, the anecdote that, that we talked about when I did um, the All Metro Runner of the Year story, and your mom talked about the baby giraffe when you were first starting <laughs> running and everything. Um, if you could tell younger athletes who are maybe just beginning something that, that you wish you could tell yourself at that stage, what would it be? Um, it would be to not let everything get to you personally, because I think that I used to get in my head a lot and every little thing would start to break me down. And now I'm kind of learning it's like, okay, I've been through this before or, okay, this is something new, but it's just uh, an obstacle I have to get over. Like, I just know how to control my emotions and control my, my energy better. So I think that that's something that I would definitely say to younger athletes, especially in a sport like this, is definitely being able to know that you're in control of what happens to you and what your life is around. You control that. 